and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is k closest points to origin which is marked as a medium level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one 2d array points of integer type and another variable k of integer types as well okay now what this array of points denote so basically array of points denote the coordinates so if you will see here one comma three is one coordinate x y another coordinate is minus two comma two another coordinate is five comma eight and another coordinate is zero comma one okay so these points array are denoting the coordinates okay and now what we have to do we have to return the k nearest points k closest points to origin okay so we have to find these points distances from origin and like the those k points whose distance is minimum i have to return them okay and we can return them in any order all right i hope a little bit will be clear to you uh, let me quickly make a graph so this is my origin if everyone knows i think what is the origin is origin is 0 comma 0 okay all right now first point is 1 comma 3 uh, 1 comma 3 which will be something like this another one is minus 2 comma 2 minus 2 comma 2 will be something like this and 5 comma 8 5 comma 8 will be something like and just don't take it as literally and then 0 comma 1 which will be something like this okay so these are the points uh, in the graph and i have to tell the k points which are closest to origin okay so k if k is equal to 2 it means the two points which are nearest to origin and which to me looks like these two points like first one is 2 comma minus 2 and second one is 0 comma 1 and we have to return them in one integer array okay uh, very very easy it is i hope it will be clear to you as well so yeah that is what we have to do now you will be thinking how we can like we are given the coordinates but how we can tell like what is the distance of this point from origin what is this distance what is this distance what is this distance so this is an euclidean distance formula which is basically the square root of which is basically the square root of let's suppose i want to have the distance from x2 let's suppose x2 is uh, something let's suppose first coordinate is uh, something like 1 comma 4 okay and another coordinate is 5 comma 8 let's suppose these are the two coordinates and now i have to tell the distance uh, between them so it will be x2 minus x1 which is basically 5 minus 1 chi square 5 minus 1 chi square and then it will be plus 8 minus 4 chi square which is y2 minus y1 okay so next one is 8 minus 4 all right so this is the square and we calculate this distance by euclidean distance okay all right now you will see we have to find the distances from origin so x2 will be like the point which is let's suppose 1 comma 3 x2 y2 will be 1 3 and x1 y1 will be 0 x1 y1 will be 0 because we have to find the distance from origin okay so these will be 0 now one more thing is there we don't even need to find the square root because because suppose uh, 1 comma 3 ka square root is uh, less than minus 2 comma 2 ka square root or 5 comma 8 ka square root so uh, we don't need to find the square root as well we can simply get ki yaar solve this array solve this 2d array on the basis of x2 square let's suppose uh, point these are all the points so point zero square and uh, plus point one square okay so this is what we have to do because look 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 a square root we don't need to do because a square root of one point a square root of another point uh, another distance another distance so a square root will be cancelled like we don't need to calculate the square root as well and after that uh we have we are finding the distance from origin so minus zero minus zero will also be returned and this is what we have to do i hope it will be very very clear to you now what question is asking and what approach we are going to use okay so
all right no uh, i think the problem statement will be clear now let's think of the approach okay so should we use a max heap should we use a max heap yes we should so what i'm going to do my there is a queue which is of length k okay which is of length k and we are going to store the we are going to store the coordinates in this the coordinates points will be stored in this priority queue but the priority will be the distance of them from origin okay so first of all 1 comma 3 will be stored and its distance from origin is what the square root of 10 so i'm not going to find a square root because every time a square root is of 8 a square root of uh, 89 square root of 1 so all are getting cancelled to each other because like suppose uh, if a square root of 10 is greater so 10 will also be greater if a square root of 8 is greater than a square root of 1 so 8 is also greater than 1 so that's why i'm not going to find the square root so 1 comma 3 is there uh, with the distance as 10 okay and then 8 is there okay so i'm going to add the coordinates in uh, decreasing order on of their distance add the coordinates in decreasing order of their distance so the next point will be minus 2 comma 2 okay all right after that after that the next point next is 89 okay so decreasing order now uh, this point will be stored at the very starting 5 comma 8 because we are storing in decreasing order so now the uh, size is greater than k so at any point when the size will be greater than k i will remove the first element from the queue so the first element from the queue is 5 comma 8 which is removed okay all right. next point is 0 comma 1 and its square root is 1 which is let's suppose the least of them so it will be stored here the third point is 0 comma 1 now again the size is greater than k k is only 2 so again i will remove the this element and we have got our answer we will simply return these two arrays these two coordinates in one integer array and we are done i hope very very simple it is we just have to write the priority of the priority in which we are going to store in max heap okay all right so i will tell you with the code as well so i hope you have you have got the approach you have got the explanation if yes please subscribe the channel and like the video and also i am uploading daily job openings as well the link will be in the description the link will be in the pinned comment make sure to check out the job openings for today as well and now let's quickly move on to the code section so i'm going to use a priority queue priority queue of integer type integer array type why because i'm going to store the coordinates okay and it will be implemented by Pri I always write priority spelling wrong priority Q and uh, here I'm going to write comparator okay so comparator will be something like let me quickly remove this from here a comma b and now I have to store in decreasing order okay decreasing order so I'm going to simply write integer dot compare uh, let's make a function distance and uh, distance of b coordinate minus uh, distance let me right, make it to the next line and minus distance of a okay so something like this now distance function i have to implement and basically in this priority queue elements will be stored in the decreasing order of their distances okay all right now i'm going to just iterate over this matrix of points so integer array let's write pt and it's getting from points one by one i'm going to add it to my priority queue so very simple pq dot add and the point okay all right now look we just have to care of the k closest point so if at any point my distance is greater than my points are greater than k i will remove the let's suppose the farthest point farthest point will be the first point farthest point will be the first entry of this priority queue like the first position okay i think you guys are getting so i'm just going to write if pq dot size is uh, greater than k simply do pq dot pole because i have i'm removing the farthest point because at any point i only need k closest point k closest point and 
now if it is greater than k i will remove them i don't need them okay all right so coming out of here now i'm just going to make a result array which i'm going to uh, return it will be equal to new integer length will be k and 2 something like this and now remove them from the priority queue one by one and store it to the answer so just do something like for int i equal to 0 i is less than k i plus plus and answer of i is equal to pq dot pull okay all right and coming out of this loop here i will simply return answer all right i think it will get accepted but 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 i have to implement this distance function as well so let's quickly write it very very easy it is uh, it will be returning integer and distance will be passed distance is the name of the function it will accept coordinates so let's suppose int point okay so it is what it is and now we have to return the distance so as i've told x1 will be 0 y1 will be 0 so it will be something like x2 square plus y2 square and i'm not going to do square root so simply return point 0 into point 0 basically x1 square uh, x2 square you can say and then y2 square so y2 square will be let me copy this again and i will place it here and now one okay something like this i hope it will be very very clear to you now because it's not that much tough it's very very easy let's quickly try to submit it directly i'm actually solving it for the first time as well let's see okay it is giving some error oh sorry i'm writing the syntax wrong here it will be distance b comma distance and not minus okay so let's try to compile this this time so that i can check if i've done any more mistakes it's compiling successfully let's try to submit this and if you are coding in c plus plus you will get the code so make sure to uh, check on my github and uh, make sure to apply the job openings which whose video i have also uploaded by now so yeah that was it for today subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye